I'm going to play a clip from uh, Dick Gregory. And rest in peace to Dick Gregory. This election. Let's talk about the election. This is when the first election happened. You know, as, as, as we speak today, it's down to uh, Hillary, Bernie, and Trump. Yeah, but see, you, you're talking to the wrong person. I never believed there was going to be an election this year, mm -hmm. and it's not. Mm -hmm. hmm? Trump ain't got no money. Trump ain't never had no money. Hmm? They talk about his daddy. You ever seen a picture of his daddy? You ever seen anybody write a story about his daddy? Uh, no. No, I mean, they, they got his money from his dad, yeah. I didn't uh, ask you that. See, you keep talking to me. I don't want to hear. I asked you, have you ever seen a picture of his daddy? No, I have not. Have you ever heard a story about his daddy? And that don't bother you? Mm. Huh? That don't bother you? Mm. And so much of us out here been talking to shit. His sister had the press conference. Said, no, he didn't give him no hundred million. He gave him a million dollars. I wonder why he didn't give me none. Huh? Mm. You know? See, if you're getting in this here and you're going to call, call you're going to move the people more powerful than me. I ain't going to talk to you if you don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. The fuck I'm going to talk to you about money if you ain't got none? Mm -hmm. hmm? That's what this shit is about. That's how NBC and ABC, that's why I look at them. Not that I believe them, they got a trillion dollar industry to do the research and I can pick it apart. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's simple. So, I... Well, I know you, you don't expect there to be an election, but did you think Trump would get as far as he has? I didn't know who it was. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look, let me show you something here. Let me show you the shit that I know. It's the Wall Street Journal. Mm -hmm. One of the most powerful papers in the world don't mean it's no good. What's the date? Now, hold it one minute. Hold it. Ho, 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 ho. Hold it. I ran for president 1968. The election was Tuesday, November the 4th. This story ran Friday, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm -hmm. 7. Now, what's the date on that? What, what, what paper is that? Uh, Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. November 7th, 1968. Page Headlines. Six. Election computer goofs gives Gregory nine million votes. That's why you can't talk to me. I got too much information. Mm -hmm. I got nine million votes in the state of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what fasting do. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now read the first, the first paragraph. I want you to think about what he just said and then think about where Trump got shot. And then on top of that, he almost became president. Some machines just aren't to be, to be believed. Take the big computer in New York that was designed to compile results of Tuesday's general election. All elections are tabulated in New York City. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, at one point early yesterday morning, the machine was crediting Dick Gregory the comedian turned presidential candidate with 9 million votes in Pennsylvania. Now, here's what happened. The energy took over, the computers, mm -hmm. and they had to shut them down because they projected me as president-elect of the United States. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't change it because they couldn't change the numbers. Wow. 9 million votes in one state. I know what it was. They went in there and tricked the machine for Nixon, but somebody put it on wrong, and they gave it to me. So I'm going in the election and know all this bullshit y'all read. It ain't true, it is just like they did that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Just like they did that. Hmm? Yeah, um, the one time Trump lost, he said it was rigged. Hmm? The, the few weeks ago First, Trump there's lost. two Trumps. Okay. The one in the red tie is the real one. The one in the blue tie is not. The one you saw last night after the victory was the blue tie. Mm. Now, if you would punch up uh, Dr. Carson, Ben Carson, when Trump called him a pedophile, and the next day he joined Trump, and the guy asked him, see, every now and then you slip and say so? He said, why'd you do that? He said, it's two Trumps. <laughs> <laughs> I was with the good one. <laughs> you see it there? Just, just punch up uh, uh, 
when when somebody interviewed him, he said, "That's two Donald Trumps. That's that's easy to pull up." Okay. I was googling Ben Carson pedophile. Hmm. I was googling the wrong thing. No, he called him that the day before, so you know he got something on him if he's gonna make okay. him the yeah. next day say, "I join you." Dr. Ben Carson, there are two Donald Trumps. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can read the rest of that later. Okay, it's right there. Okay. So. But now, why are we talking about that? Mm -hmm. Are you aware that makes made him world renowned? Carter, what he did. Ben Carson. Ben Carson. You know what? How he got world renowned? Uh, he separated the twins. Head twins. Brain. Yeah, from the brain. He separated two Siamese twins. twins. Siamese twins. He wasn't even in the room when that happened. Hmm? Wasn't in the room. He's been campaigning for eight months. Have you ever heard him mention it? No. Everybody else mentioned everything they did with a pus, right? Hmm? <clears throat> if what they said he did was true, then the question we need to ask, how come he's never been nominated for a Nobel Prize? Didn't say get one. The nomination. He's never been nominated for a Nobel Prize in medicine. Hmm? See how the thinking, when the thinking hits? And when he said to, at the president's prayer breakfast, compared um, Obama, what do you call it, uh, the insurance? Obama. Obamacare. Obamacare, yeah. Is worse than slavery, remember that? Mm -hmm. He was fired by the time he got back to John Hopkins. Hmm? They'd already paid him for two weeks later to do the commencement, they said, keep the money. You better not be caught on this campus again. So the two Donald Trumps, um, Bernie. Huh? Bernie. Bernie Sanders. So. I, I didn't know that much about Bernie other than he come from a place where there ain't no black folks. Hmm? So I just assumed he's CIA. No, you can't do what he's doing across the country and nobody know you. But I got the experience of the Beatles, how they can manipulate crowds. Young folks, <laughs> okay? That's how I'm saying you compound stuff with the stuff you know. And you do that by shutting up listening. Huh? Mm hmm Wow. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. And so, Hillary... They can take her down any time they want to put her in jail. And she don't have to do nothing. That's how they do it. You saw the pictures of Monica. <laughs> they, can have a, they can have a picture with her screwing a gorilla. Mm -hmm. They have that technology now. Mm -hmm. hmm? ISIS, I mean, you stupid enough to believe with trillions of dollars, Satellites, we didn't see him put in the military. He's us. Trained by General Petraeus. Hmm? And every time we overrun his lines, he ain't got nothing but American equipment. You know, it's a game. The mightiest, mightiest military in the history of the planet, and these white folk, they bomb him every day and they can't. Hmm? Come on. Hmm? So, I mean, well, what does it say about the country this, and the elect, this time, this election, that somebody like Trump would even be the prime candidate? I'm not even going to answer. See, you take it to someplace else. Huh? You answer it. I just told you. That rhetorical ass huh? question. I said, so and so is a man in a dress. What color dress he going to wear next week? That's your shit. Okay. You're getting into gossip now. The people I talk to know who I am. They wouldn't even ask me a question like that. Because if I know that, they know I know something else they don't know. A brother asked me, he said, I saw the article. He said, uh, 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 Trump is gay. How'd you know? Because he ain't never bashed gays. 
talk about Jesus, you know, the, the Pope. You use some of that shit on your own. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then you see it. Mm -hmm. huh? It's simple. Okay. Um, Diddy party attendee. This here is, no, hold that one minute. Keep this one. No, no, just read. That's that's the one about read. Read the first paragraph again. Uh, well, we did it, but uh, up top, first paragraph. Some inaccurate data gets on TV. But yeah. Before use is halted by news election service. Yeah. Go ahead. Some machines just aren't to be believed. Now switch over to the last paragraph. When it gets down to those crucial calls. The top, top of top of the. Oh, I'm sorry, CBS I'm sorry. anchorman. No, no, the top. I'm sorry, the top, the last, the the the, the last paragraph up top. Where um, your hand is. Yeah, CBS anchorman, yeah. Walter Cronkite. Yeah. After the errors were pointed out to him, apologized for not questioning the thing. Now, you think he, he don't even know what the fuck happened, but he think he has a right mm. to apologize to America. Mm. Yeah, it is right there. Mm. <laughs> he says, uh, apologize for not questioning the figures. He said, any fool should have known they were out of line. Later, when the news election data system closed down, Urgent word was sent to the networks and news services for at least half an hour. That's all. That's all. No I just wanted you figures. just to see that I, I, I cut it off before that. Mm -hmm. Now, O.J. Simpson, mm -hmm. they run it. They run shit every 10 years to get your children and your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So let's go back and look at O.J. He cannot read or write. So when the cop said he sent this message out to be read to his fans, <laughs> now to show you how powerful he was as an athlete, his godfather was Willie Mays. So when he finished high school, Willie Mays took him and put him in a junior college when wasn't nobody looking. So two years later, they slipped him in USC. He go to a four-year college and in two years, break all the football records that it took them four years to do. Now you know what kind of... Hmm. So if he can't read or write, who was that that was writing all the way through the trial? Mm. Hmm. See how it works? And so when you stop and think about... So a funny thing happened. Here's how the universe works. A funny thing happened. They ask Nicole, here's how white folks protect white folks, a franchise. They ask Ron Goldman folks and her folks, why was he at Nicole's house at one o'clock in the morning? You ever heard that story? Yeah. Says her. Her mother ate there and dry her glasses. So she called the restaurant and said, are my glasses there? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'll pick them up tomorrow. And she says, no, Ron Goldman will bring them. See, that justify how Ron Goldman can be by not mom's house, but Nicole's house. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at Goldman, Somewhere, the universe said, <clears throat> a newspaper called her mother the next day. I said, when's the last time you spoke to your daughter before she was killed? She said, oh, around 11 o'clock. Now, the press didn't think nothing <laughs> suspicious. She just said, oh, that couldn't have been. Because uh, this all happened before 1020. So she still don't think. Okay. So, here's a federal judge. What paper is that? What's the date on it? And what's it say? Los Angeles Times, February 26, 2000. O.J. Simpson sues for Brown's telephone records. 
The former athlete claims GTA's data on calls can prove he didn't murder. The call that her mother made. In Federal the judge put on a lock and key mm. for 75 years. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, O.J. Simpson claims that records of phone calls between his ex-wife and her mother on the night Nicole Brown Simpson was murdered it's in Dallas. clear it's him in the, of any the... role in the stabbing deaths of her and Ronald L. Goldman. Okay. Now, so, now let's go to the, the chase. Mm-hmm. All them white folks on the bridge with their signs? I didn't know which way he was going. The cops didn't. Go, Juice, go. You my man, Juice. Just so y'all with understand big signs. what y'all listening you to. You ever seen white folk with signs in their, in their, in their trunk so they can write <laughs> messages on it? Right. <laughs> See how it works? Mm-hmm. So that's what they do. Mm. It became quite disingenuous for America. I had to, I had to pull up this picture. It, with that headline, just so y'all can understand why he even just out of the blue just started mentioning O.J. Simpson in the correlation, number one. As, as much as they hung out together. You know what I mean? Number one. Number two, I want to get back to the fact that he said in the beginning of the two Donald Trumps. Now, what Trump do you usually see there at the at the podium? Especially during these a time like this in the rallies, right? See him wearing what? The red tie. Could bring back to what uh, Gregory said. Now read the first. About two Trumps. Everybody else mentioned everything they did. On stuff with the stuff you know. And you. I'm going to bring it back to when he said which Trump was which. Nominated for a Nobel Prize. Didn't say give. <laughs> you see it there. Just, just punch up. Yeah, that's right. Join Trump, and the guy asked him, "See, every now and then you slip and say stuff." So. He said, "Why'd you do that?" He says, "It's two Trumps." <laughs> I was with. Want to see which color he Trump. is? Did on wrong, and they gave it to me. So I'm going in the election. Know all this bullshit, y'all read? It ain't true. It is just like they did that, mm -hmm. huh? Just like they did that. Hmm? Yeah. Um. The one time Trump lost, he said it was rigged. Hmm? The, the few weeks first, ago there's lost. two Trumps. Okay. The one in the red tie is the real one. The one in the blue tie is not. The one you saw last night after the victory was the blue tie. Hmm. Now, if you would punch up uh, Dr. Carson, Ben Carson, when Trump called him a pedophile, and the next day he joined Trump. And the guy asked him, see, every now and then you slip and say something. He said, why'd you do that? He says, it's two Trumps. <laughs> I was with the good one. <laughs> you see it. So meaning that, yes, thank you, uh, Only Zane. Please, please like and share. Like and subscribe, like and share. Um, as you see here, he's with the red tie. Now, did they shoot the real one or did they shoot the fake one? Now, he's saying the blue tie one was the fake one and that the red tie one is the real one. So, yeah, of course, they shot at the real one because the real one had to be at the rally, putting the fist up, making it look like he really got shot. But I think we're going to see a blue tie one at the next one. We might see a blue tie one at the next one. Now we have something to actually look for. Now, I have another clip real quick of Dick Gregory just warning people about the actual election and if Trump would actually win it. On Monday, Clarence Jones, MLK's attorney on Tuesday, joining us today, civil rights activist, comedian, Dick Gregory. How you doing, my brother? I'm fantastic. Having fun. A absolutely. Feel this, good. This path forward. This path forward. Yes. I, all, folks are up. Uh, Apoplectic, upset, mad, angry. Be. Anytime you vote for the lesser of the two evils, you evil yourself. That's how Hitler came to power. Mm. Okay? We don't see that. 
But you got to be evil. Here's a guy who rapes a woman once a month, another guy who rapes a woman once a day, and you got to pick one to babysat for you. You're evil. And that's what America, that's how Hitler came to power. See, few people know Hitler won that election by 288 votes. Okay? And almost wiped the world out. So you can get by with that with the church, but you can't get by with that with the universe that made the moon, the sun, and the stars. And that's where we are. You got people who are concerned in terms of where do we go from here. You don't go nowhere. This is not your business. Hmm. Not your business. If, 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 if Trump, if you ever saw Trump's television shows, brilliant. So how do you get so stupid all at once? Hmm? If I went to apply for a job collecting garbage, they would ask me to bring in my last year's tax return. You run for president, he don't have to bring his in, and y'all tolerate it and don't know where it's going? Hmm? That's what it's about. That's what it's about. What do you say to that activist, to that young person, to that elder who's saying, okay, what do I do for the next four years? You can do nothing. You're not going to make four years. This country won't make four years. It's over. Now, when you say it's over, what does that mean? It means the decline. The Romans, the Greeks, the Egyptians, all of them fell. Okay? All of them fell. You see it. So what should we do? <laughs> Because Jim over here talks about the resistance. Please. They had a resistance with, uh, with even going against Hitler. Please. <laughs> the Jews didn't know what Hitler was doing. Okay. Our problem is we think we part of this government, and you're not. Yes. Notice how he keeps mentioning Hitler. Now, again, we are in 2024 around imminent of Project 2025, and this is about six, seven years ago. This is the first time that Donald Trump won the election. And he knew exactly what was going to happen to us years later down the line. Like I said, notice how he keeps mentioning Hitler. We want to take the Democrats and Republicans, but when Condoleezza Rice came in, she had more PhDs than the whole administration had. And they called her Condi. They never called Madden Maddie. Hmm? He, there's a there's a soda pop darker than her called Dr. Pepper. If you go get one, you better call it by its title or they give you a chili pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about. We are, you look at the people who he's already putting on his transition team, and it's, it's, it's amazing to me watching mainstream media lose their mind. Oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. And I'm sitting there going, um, he made it clear what he said during the campaign, what he was going to do. Why y'all acting shocked now? Yeah, but my mother was the same way. She went to the doctor and she said, if you sign cancer, don't tell me. That's what white Americans do. Hmm. If you find it, don't tell me. Hmm? They didn't just get like that all at once. You got high school students marching, huh? The question needs to be asked, how y'all leave school with no permit, huh? Because if you had a child on one of those marches and they got killed by a car, the school got to pay you. That's not the easy thing to do. But they did, huh? Marched by the White House, marched by, and nobody saying anything. Principal told them to go out and, and demonstrate in the playground. That's, no, no, it, everything you see in, something's wrong with it. Okay, something's wrong with it. Do you think that we're going to continue to see more of these protests? They've been happening every single day all across the country. Yeah, because most of them are staged. Most of them are staged. You know, I've been pro- What did he just say? Again. This is six, seven years ago, y'all. This is six, seven years ago, Dick Gregory said this shit to y'all. Testing all my life. They're fucking staged. If I got, if I got 10 children, 13 grandchildren, they just don't get up one morning and say, I'm gonna demonstrate. The easiest thing in the world to find out what a child gonna do, cause they talk. They talk. I mean, we're stupid enough in America to believe the Ku Klux Klan determined public policy. Most of them can't read. Most of them can't run. And when I got ready to run away from slavery, the sheriff going to ask me for my letter from Kachi P. I just take any letter because they couldn't read. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, this is what this is about. But we so filthy ourselves. Huh? I spent millions of dollars 
walk out with my life. I got to go too. I'm just as dirty as they are. When I get on a plane next week and go to Budapest, round trip, first class, <clears throat> $42,000. I pay tax on that, which buys bullets, which drop on little children. So when they fall on your children, why are you upset? That's what this is about. Jim. Well, this is a, a moment where racial bigotry and autocracy come together. That's why the moment is so, he's a racial bigot and an autocrat. So I think we need a pledge of resistance. I think clergy need to go to sheriff's offices and say, if you're not gonna be held accountable by Washington, clergy will hold you accountable for your policing in this town. When they register Muslims, Christians and Jews should be in line registering as Muslims. Uh, when they want to arrest undocumented people, we should force them to arrest them inside our churches and not home, home alone. There's got to be a pledge of resistance. I mean, in fact, you see the police chief in L.A. who said, we're not going to help you when it comes to rounding up uh, The mayor of Minneapolis limits. said last night, we're not going to help you. So we got to do resistance. Uh, so it's, to me, it's faith, resistance, healing, yes, but you start with resistance. This is a moment for resistance, and we all got to make our own pledge of Great resistance. Point, Kick start your day at 7 and get the news. Great Great, great point there, Fury B. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the video game Metal Gear Solid, uh, it actually does cover a lot of FBI and CIA intel uh, information. Call of Duty also. Call of Duty also um, has predictive programming such as things like this that we're going through right now. And yes, inside those video games, they talk about presidents having body doubles. Specifically, they talk about presidents having body doubles. Actually, I think you can actually still Google, not just, not talking about Metal Gear Solid, but you can actually Google that, matter of fact. Hold on. Let me see. President, clone, assassination. Let me see. Let me see if we can still find that real quick. Because I, I, I remember seeing something like that, too. <clears throat> Doo -doo. Uh, President Barack Obama just condemned the assassination, of course. That assassination plan attack of the clones is absolutely... Hold on. Hold on. Let me find it for you real quick. Real quick. Real quick. I did remember seeing that. Andrew Johnson signs off an execution. Reese Jerry K. Assassination. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Here it is. The JFK one. I knew it was, it was somebody that was important, too. So, in, it's 2017, and conspiracy theorists around the... Hold on. Conspiracy theorists around the world are eagerly awaiting the release of thousands of never-seen-before uh, government documents related to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy uh, due out late October. Blah, blah, blah. So, ironically, author uh, Jim Mars, who wrote the best-selling book, Crossfire... Uh, let's see what we can get down here. Seeing is believing. Conspiracy theories. The year. Let's see. Conspiracy theories also frequent emerged. I'm trying to find a part here where they talk about um, basically JFK. All right. So I'll just let let y'all know what what this was about basically. So documents had came out about uh, Project MK Ultra. The uh, everything basically it was whistleblowing everything with the John F. Kennedy documents, right? And inside the documents, they were talking about how when he first got shot, that there was an actual clone in the car and that he was actually underground. The real John F. Kennedy was actually underground. And they actually, I think it was uh, Ronald Reagan when uh, they tried to shoot at him. The same thing happened there, too, where they had the real Ronald Reagan underneath and they had uh, a fake Ronald Reagan on, uh, on top. Now, of course, we're hearing now where Donald Trump, red tie, blue tie, red tie is real one, uh, blue tie is fake one, right? I think this one actually happened in reverse because this particular Donald Trump didn't even have on a tie at all. Think about that in particular. This Donald Trump did not have a tie on when he got shot. I was noticing that in particular. He didn't have a tie on at all. He just had the red hat on. So the red hat, of course, was, think about this. Looking at red hat, no tie, podium, if I am a quote-unquote sniper, I have my target, I can easily just completely miss that. I can easily, if I am a well-trained one, I can also just shoot right past this motherfucker. Have his cue, you take the blade, 
Choo-choo. Duff comes to the podium. Oh, shit. The president has been shot. He's been shot at. 